on justice by plato translated by george burgess this librivox recording is in the public domain recording by geoffrey edwards persons of the dialogue socrates and a friend can you tell us what is justice or does it seem to you not worth entering into a discourse about it to me at least it seems very much so what is it then what else than the things considered just do not speak to me in this way but as if you had asked me what is the eye i should have said to you it is that by which we see and if you should bid me to prove it i would prove it and if you should ask to what is given the name of soul i would say to that by which we know something and if again what is the voice i would answer that by which we converse in this way then do you tell me that justice is that which we use for something as are the things of which i was just now asking i have it not in my power to reply in this way at all but since such is the case perhaps we shall discover it more easily in this way come then say by what do we on consideration distinguish the greater and the less is it not by a measure yes and together with a measure by what art is it not by that of measurement yes and how things light and heavy is it not by weight yes and together with a weight by what art is it not that of weighing certainly well then by what instrument do we on consideration distinguish what is just and unjust and together with the instrument by what art previously is it not somehow manifest to you thus no but let us consider it again in this way when we are disputing about things greater and less who decides between us is it not the measurers yes and when about things many and few who are the persons to decide is it not the numberers but what when we are disputing with each other about things just and unjust to whom do we come and who are the persons to decide on each occasion between us say do you not socrates mean the judges you have correctly made the discovery come then and try to tell this likewise by doing what do the measurers decide respecting things large and small is it not by measuring yes and respecting things heavy and light is it not by weighing yes and respecting things many and few is it not by numbering yes but how respecting things just and unjust answer me i cannot say say by speaking yes by speaking then do judges decide between us when they are forming a judgment respecting things just and unjust yes and by measuring those skilled in measuring things small and great for a measure is that by which these things are judged it is so and by weighing those skilled in weighing things heavy and light for a weight is that by which these things are judged yes it is and again by numbering those skilled in numbering things many and few for number is that by which these things are judged it is so but by speaking as we just now agreed the judges decide respecting things just and unjust you speak correctly socrates it is true then and speech is that it seems by which things just and unjust are judged what then are things just and unjust as if a person had asked us since a measure and the measuring art and the person skilled in measuring decide which is the greater and the less what is the greater and the less shall we say to him 
that the greater exceeds and the less is exceeded? And since the weight and the weighing art and the person skilled in weighing decide the heavy and the light, shall we say to him that the thing going downwards in the scales is heavy, but the thing going upwards is light? In like manner, if he should ask us, since speech and the art of judging and the judge is the party who decides what is just and unjust, what is the just and unjust? What answer shall we have to give him? Or have we not a single word to say? We have not. Whether, willingly or unwillingly, do men, think you, have this injustice? I mean in this way, think you that they do injustice and are unjust, willingly or unwillingly? Willingly, I imagine, Socrates, for they are wicked. You conceive, then, that men are willingly wicked and unjust? I do, and do not you? No, at least, if we are to be persuaded by the poet. What kind of poet? He who said, Not one is wicked willingly, nor blessed unwillingly. But still, on the other hand, Socrates, well is the old proverb that poets do many falsehoods sing. But I should marvel if this poet has told a falsehood. Come then, if you are at leisure, let us consider whether he is saying what is false or true. Nay, I am at leisure. Come then, say, do you deem it just to tell a falsehood or to tell the truth? To tell the truth. To tell a falsehood, then, is unjust? Yes. But whether to deceive or to not deceive? To not deceive, assuredly. To deceive, then, is unjust? Yes. But what? Is it just to hurt or to benefit? To benefit. To hurt, then, is unjust? Yes. It is just, then, to tell the truth, and to not deceive, and to benefit, but to tell a falsehood, and to hurt, and to deceive, unjust? Yes, by Zeus, and greatly so. What, to do so to enemies? By no means. But it is just to do a hurt to enemies, but to do a benefit, unjust? Yes. It is, then, just, by deceiving enemies to do them a hurt? How not? Well, then, to tell a falsehood in order that we may deceive and do a hurt to enemies, is it not just? It is. But what? Do you not say that it is just to do a benefit to friends? I do. Whether by not deceiving or by deceiving for their benefit? By deceiving even, by Zeus. But is it just to do a benefit by deceiving, and yet not by telling a falsehood, or by telling a falsehood? It is just by telling even a falsehood. To tell a falsehood, and to tell the truth is, as it seems, both just and unjust. Yes. And to not deceive, and to deceive, is both just and unjust. So it seems and to do a hurt, and to do a benefit is just and unjust. Yes. All things of this kind are, it seems, the same, both just and unjust. To me, at least, they appear so. Here, then, I have, like other men, a right eye and a left. Yes. And a right nostril and a left. Certainly and a right hand and a left. Yes. Hence, since after giving the same name, you say that some of my members are on the right side and others on the left, would you not be able to say, if I asked you on which side they were, that some on one side are the right and others on the other side the left? Yes. Come then, likewise, to that point, since after giving the same name, you say that some acts are just, and some unjust. 
can you tell which are the just and which the unjust to me then it now appears that each of these acts taking place at a proper time are just but at not a proper one unjust and correctly does it appear to you he then who does each of these acts at a proper time does what is just but he who does not at a proper time does what is unjust yes he then who does what is just is just but he who does what is unjust is unjust it is so who then at a proper time is able to cut and burn and to make clean the medical man because he knows or for some other reason because he knows and who is able at a proper time to dig and to plough and to plant the land tiller because he knows or because he does not because he knows and in this way as regards other matters he who knows is able to do what is proper at a proper time but he who does not know is not thus it is and he who knows how to tell falsehoods and to deceive and to do a benefit is able to do each of these things at a proper time but he who does not know is not you say what is true and he who does these acts at a fitting time is just yes he does them then through knowledge how not the just man then is just through knowledge yes the unjust man then is unjust through what is opposite to what is just it appears so now the just man is just through wisdom yes and the unjust man is unjust through the want of instruction it seems so that which our ancestors left us as wisdom seems near to being justice but that which they left as want of instruction to be injustice it is likely are men uninstructed willingly or unwillingly 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 then they are unjust it appears so but the unjust are wicked yes unwillingly then persons are wicked and unjust by all means but they act unjustly through their being the unjust yes through an act of unwillingness certainly but that which is willing does not take place through what is unwilling it does not but the doing of injustice takes place through the existence of injustice yes now injustice is an involuntary act involuntary unwillingly then persons do an injustice and are unjust and wicked unwillingly as it appears the poet then did not in this case tell a falsehood it seems not end of on justice